She was a prime example of a talented black woman who made it into the system. Firmly rooted in the world of the black bourgeoisie, Scott's background was unlike that of most other divas. She had been born in Trinidad in 1920 and was a child prodigy, having mastered the piano by age four. That same year, her mother brought her to the States. By age 20, Scott's career had taken off when she opened at Barney Josephson's Cafe Society. I auditioned her, and I leveled with her. I said, I've got Ida Cox coming in. I can only offer you a job for one week. I can't promise you more now. If you want to do that, you may. Which is, that's all right with me. So Hazel came in, played the piano, sang a few songs. But of course, her, her best thing was her piano. And uh, Ida Cox came the following week, and I kept uh, Hazel on. I had Hazel and Ida. And Ida finished her engagement and left. And Hazel stayed on for seven and a half years. She came in for one week. Hazel Scott's specialty was giving a new bent to classical music. Classics, and she would play them, and she would say, I'm going to play Rachmaninoff's and something, you know, uh, and whatever, the G, number, letter, or what, the way it was written, and then the way I like it. And when she'd start jazzing <laughs> with the, these classics, people went, wow. nightclub segment of the picture. Of course, most of her scenes could easily be cut should it be thought they would offend certain audiences. Regardless, she was a blazing symbol of a new contemporary black woman. Oh, <laughs> 